This is what genocide is all about. It is precisely to save people from this suffering, from this genocide, that is the main reason for the convincing motive and goal of the military operation that we launched in the Donbass and Ukraine. All right, uh, the genocide that many argue Vladimir Putin is inflicting on Ukraine, he turned it around, speaking to a packed crowd at a Moscow stadium, saying it is to address what's happening in Ukraine and how the Ukrainians and the West helping them have created this genocide, and he is there to stop it. Irina Bekashvina joins us right now, a Russian protester uh, who was arrested doing just that and letting the world know what was really going on. She's still is in Russia right now. Irina uh, good to have you. Now, you were arrested, right, Irina? What happened? Um, yes, I went to Menezhne Square. It's the central square in Moscow yesterday. Um, I, stand it, I stand it with a poster for 15 seconds, and I got arrested. Um, I had no trial yet, but I will get a fine of um, $500, I think. So, Irina, uh, when you were arrested, uh, what did they say? Uh, they tried to ask me if I'm an American spy, uh, if anyone paid me for doing that. Uh, I absolutely said no. Also, they took away my phone and my personal diary. I don't know why. Um, and they, they had me in police stations for four hours. Uh, not letting me to call a lawyer or do anything, uh, but then they let me out. You know, so few seem to be let out, Arena. You were. Um, we do know this woman who also lifted a similar poster to yours behind a newsreader uh, was also quickly taken away, arrested, but later released. These are unusual, aren't they, for protesters like you to be released at all, aren't they? Um, yeah, people, people are being released. Uh, a lot of people are still in jail right now. Um, they have been there for three weeks. Um, but I don't know, uh, there, there are many people to protest because most of them are still in jail. I'm just curious. You're, you're still in Moscow. You're talking to me now. Uh, uh, are you worried? Do you, are you worried that they're monitoring you or following you? Yes, I'm still in Moscow, and I decided to stay in Russia because I'm not afraid of police. I'm not afraid of government. I'm not even afraid of Putin. They have no control over me. Um, I just know what I do and that it's right, and... Other activists are staying in Russia for the same reason. So, Irina, um, you know how President Putin feels about those who don't agree with him or those certainly who protest what he's doing in Ukraine. But he removed all doubt on that earlier this week, talking about, well, I think people like you. This is from Vladimir Putin. Yeah. But any people, and even more so the Russian people, will always be able to distinguish true patriots from scum and traitors and simply spit them out like a fly that accidentally flew into the mouth. Spit them out. I am convinced that such a natural and necessary cleansing of society will only strengthen our country. I think he was calling you scum and a traitor. Um... Yeah, he hates opposition. Um, he wants people to love him, to respect him. But it doesn't work that way. He can't force people to love him. And um, he can put us in prison. He can kill us. But we're still going to fight with him, with his regime, with uh, police aggression. We're still going to do that for our future, for our country's future. Rina, um, we're told that maybe older Russians, maybe your parents or aunts and uncles, don't feel the same way as you do or younger people do. Is that true, that they, they support what Putin is doing? Um, that's true. But 
other people, I don't blame them. Uh, they don't really know how to use internet or just don't have access to it. So they only watch TV and they believe in propaganda. They believe in what they hear. Um, but we are, as a younger generation, we try to talk to our parents. My family at first supported the war too, but I talked to them, we discussed the situation and they were able to hear me and now they also do not support it. Um, I think that uh, later when our economic uh, is gonna be ruined, <laughs> they stop supporting it. Rena, were they worried about you coming on and, and talking to us today? My family? Yeah. Uh, yeah, my family are really <laughs> terrified. Um, they don't, they want me to stop. Uh, they don't want me to make any public statements, but I think it would be just not honest. I want to stay honest to myself and do my best as, as long as I can. Irina, you're an incredible young woman. Um, please be safe. My best to your family. But thank you for letting us in in this world. So few outside Russia know. Uh, Arena Rekoshuskina, I should say, a Russian protester who has no qualms letting the world know what's going on is offensive. A little more after this.